People may think the lesson in this movie is don't sell drugs, don't smuggle drugs because bad shit happens. But it's not! The lesson in this movie is nearly 20 years after Friends started airing, Jennifer Aniston is still hot. That is what I took away from this. We're the Millers. Sentence form. Best way to do a title. So We're the Millers stars that one dude who's really funny and in real life the guy's actually nailing Olivia Wilde. So as I like to call him, asshole. But good for him, really. Bane stance. And he goes around town and he sells pot. Apparently he's really good at it. But then he loses his entire stash and all of his money to the cast of the movie Lost Boys. So Ed Helms' boss is like, yeah, you're gonna go down to Mexico, get a little bit of weed and bring it back to America. It's a little frowned upon in some circles, but you're gonna do it. And in order to accomplish this, he gets these misfits together to pose as a family. He gets Jennifer Aniston, who plays a stripper in this movie, to pose as his wife. He gets Emma Roberts, who's this young runaway chick. She poses as his daughter and then he gets the kid who played the brat in the Narnia movies to pose as his son. They dress up as Beaver Cleaverville family who shops at the Gap outlet and then they go across the border and they get the weed and they come back and then shenanigans ensue. And you're like, okay, that's kind of, that's a funny premise. Thing is, that is a really entertaining 45 minute long movie. In the middle though, you have to fill in the gaps and draw it out to be about an hour, 45 minutes long in which you have a bunch of just other things in there. There's this whole segment with this weird other camper family and I saw the segment in the trailer and I was like, okay, it's gonna be just in passing. But it felt like that's segment dragged on in this movie. I felt like it was like 33% of the entire movie. A third of this movie was dedicated to this weird ass family that they just kind of run across and then hang out with and do weird comedy with. The movie does have a good heartfelt premise about, you know, what is family and these misfits kind of find a family within themselves, but it's a really predictable movie. You don't walk away from this movie going, I didn't see any of that coming. It's cool to see this dude in a lead role because I was like, can he be a lead role? It's not like I have to root for him in life. The guy's obviously really good at what he does, he's really funny, he made me laugh a lot in this movie, and he actually gets Olivia Wilde in real life. It's not like he's the underdog anymore, but I like seeing the dude succeed. And bear with me on this, I know the whole point of this movie is that, oh, they're bonding as a family, but really the whole family thing was they're all camouflaged to pose as a family so they can get back to America through the Mexican border. You know, so they blend in, it's like, all right, modern American family, whatever, go past. But once they're in the USA again, they really don't have to stick together. Like, there's this one segment in the movie, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, so don't worry, but someone's more or less incapacitated and they need to get him into the RV so they can just go about their quest, but they're already in America. So if I were him, I'd be like, all right, you guys stay with him. I'm gonna go back and drop the drugs off since, you know, it's a time limit thing. Then I'll come back and get yeah after he's okay and then we'll, we'll all be fine. But no, he doesn't think of that. He's like, oh, we gotta stick together, but I don't like any of you, so I don't really want to stick together with you guys. It's kind of a conflicting message thing. I was like, eh, all right, so it's just convenient. They have to stick together because we wouldn't have a movie otherwise. Stuff like that pulls me out of the movie, makes me go, ah, oh, well, if it doesn't make sense, my brain doesn't like it. Where the Millers made me laugh. I thoroughly enjoyed like half of this movie. I really felt like I said, they had a 45 minute long movie that was really funny, but they had to stretch it out to make it long enough to be in theaters. And so now it's just not as solid as it would have been. There's a part of me that wants to give a subtext here. So I just might. I will say We're the Millers is a good time. No alcohol required at matinee price. All right, so this movie's about smuggling weed. What's your favorite drug smuggling movie? Comedy, drama, whatever it is, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.